so seeing how the last video went down so well on how to design your own cafe racer, um, I had a lot of comments from people asking, can you show us how to design a scrambler? So here it is for you. As with all my videos, these hints and tips are only for, for inspiration rather than guidance or even this is the only way to do things. The beauty about building these bikes, you can inject your own personality and get these bikes looking the way that you want them to look like. So there'll be a lot of people that disagree with me on, on a few bits and bobs. Um, the similarities between cafe racers and scrambler building, uh, obviously cafe racers are for street racing, street riding. Scramblers are more for that off-roading. So you've got the, the nice chunky tires, you've got the, uh, the exhaust that's higher up, and you've got these protective um, shields and stuff on the, on the body and the frame. So. A few other comments I've had on that other video is people asking, well, do you just take everything off the bike and put everything new on there? Well, you can do if you want, or you can you can keep original parts if you want to as well. So you can use a, an old tank that's that's got scratches and dents and, and all sorts, and, and that can be your take on, on how to build a bike. So you've got all this, this history built into your bike. So honestly, feel free to have a have a play around with your bike, uh, play around with designing your own bike, and if these videos serve as, as a point of inspiration for people, then my job here is done. So enough babbling from me, uh, I'm sure you don't want to see my face any longer, so here's the video. Right, so let's start off with the base bike. Here I'm just using the Kawasaki KZ650. You can use whatever you like. It's pretty simple to get the scrambler look on, on most bikes. The smaller the engine, the thinner the bike the more durable it is for off-roading, but don't let that put you off. If you want to use a, a straight four, then do it. It's your choice and it's your bike, so you can do whatever you want to it. So same as the Cafe Racer video, you've got to strip the whole bike back to the original frame, cut whatever you don't need off, and then powder coat it. For the purpose of this video, take that, we've done all that now, so go back to the original bike, and we can start stripping things off bit by bit. First thing to go, obviously, it's this massive tail. You don't really want an India road bike, or a road bike for that matter, so I'll take that off for now. The same principle as Cafe Racers. I, I tend not to like the uh, the air filter boxes at the back, but that's just my personal preference. If you want to keep those there, because it is a scrambler, then by all means do that. So pods, if you're gonna go off road, probably not the most uh, sensible option to use those, but I mean, I like them anyway, so heck. I'm going to take this off and I'll take the little sleeve off as well. So the next thing we'll tackle are the handlebars. Difference between a scrambler and a cafe racer. A cafe racer you've got the clip on bars down at the bottom. For a scrambler you need, you need to have more control of your bike. You're not going to be going around these soft corners. You're going to be off-roading it in theory. So we'll take these massive handlebars off and <laughs> massive mirrors off anyway. They really don't suit it. And we'll put these neat little bars back on. Not as high as the last ones, but still high enough so you can actually get your hands around it and, and keep in control of the bike. The tank is the next to go. Always a favourite to change. By doing this, you're going to immediately move it from a, a stock looking bike to, to the bike that you want. You can either paint this or change it completely. Here we've just painted it, so we've given the bike a bit more of an earthy feel. It's the theme of the bike. If you're going to be using it for off-roading, then this is what you want it to look like. We'll remove the seat. Again, you're not going to want two people going on it, so we'll just use this Brat-style seat on the back here. It's a smaller seat and it's probably not going to be as comfortable as what was there before, but heck, most people that build scramblers are after that look rather than practicality. The wheels are definitely something that you're going to want to change. Uh, you're not going to be able to, to go through any mountains or any uh, terrain or anything with uh, with these standard stock wheels. So let's take the two off and let's take the front forks off whilst we're doing that. And we'll put these uh, these lovely wheels and front fork actually that's from Triumph's new range. Triumph have got a, a new range of bikes at the moment and one of them is quite scrambler in the way it looks. Uh, these forks are straight from that. If you can afford forks like this, then brilliant. If not, then dig around. You might even find some motocross or some trails bikes that might might have short enough forks for this. What you've got to be aware of, if, if you're going to go searching for motocross front forks for this and, and tyres, front forks and motocross tend to be a bit longer than your, your normal scrambler or street bike. So uh, just be careful in your measurements if you go out and select those. Now this exhaust at the bottom, I really 
don't like this exhaust. Uh, from a practicality and from a from a visual point of view, the the muffler at the back is far too big. And again, from a practicality point of view, if you're going to go off-roading or scrambling in this, then you want your exhaust to be high up. If your exhaust goes down at the bottom uh, in this street bike or, or cafe racer style, what's going to happen is if you're going to be going over rocks or anything and you bash the bottom of your frame, chances are your exhaust is going to be bashed in as well. So let's take that off and then let's move it to this really nice exhaust that goes around the top of the engine. Um, make sure that heat shield is there because if you're going to be putting your legs next to that it's, it's going to burn so yeah <laughs> heat shield is a definite must for where your legs are and put in the, the air filter pods last but like I said if you're going to use it as a proper scrambler then, then you probably are more likely to want to have a, uh, a housing unit for your air filter pods just aren't going to cut it especially if you're going through mud and all sorts and your pods get covered with mud and then yeah all, all hell's going to break loose so there you have it, there's your bike as a whole, so we can flick between the uh, the before and after. You can see the ride height and the position that you're sitting in is going to be fairly the same to what you originally start off with, but visually your bike looks like it's, it's the real deal. And absolutely, if you're going to want to achieve a look like this, then these are the few steps that you need to take. Now of course, don't take my word for what you need to do. Each bike is its own, each person has their own personality, so put your own bit of personality into, you, into your build, and that way you can truly have a bike that reflects you as a person and as a builder as well. So good luck, and please share your builds with me. I love to see what people are building, especially if, if these videos inspire people in any single way, even if it's just to get people you know, bidding on eBay for, for another bike, then please share with me what you're building and don't forget to subscribe.